Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's Monday Must Have. So today I'll be doing a wear test and like half and half wear test of the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Primer. So if you'd like to see if this works, see my little review and wear test, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this channel all about budget beauty. So it can be makeup, skincare, fragrance. It really does depend on the day of the week. So make sure you do subscribe. Hit that notification bell, bookmark the page, that way you can come back and watch whenever you would like to. I also do a live stream every Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I also have another channel, it's called Gourmet on a Budget, it's all about budget food. And I upload on that one some days a week as well. I'll link it down below for you. Okay, so, I used to think primers didn't really do anything. Um, I do use primer from time to time. It's usually if my skin is feeling dry or I'm, you know, there's, I don't use primer every single day, but I absolutely love the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. And so when I did find this on Amazon for like four bucks, I'll link it down below for you. It'll be an Amazon affiliate link. You're welcome to use it, but you don't have to. But when I did see this, I'm like, okay, I want to try it. Um, I have some more hydrating foundations that sometimes maybe don't hold up on my combination skin. So I'm like, you know what? I want to give this a go. You do get one fluid ounce, and this is supposed to be shine controlling, pore minimizing, hydrating spill, and it's supposed to smooth the skin. So I'm like, okay, I want to give this a try. Um, I really like Rimmel's face products. Their Stay Matte Foundation and Powder is like top notch, super affordable, under $5 at Walmart, even Amazon. Um, so I already know that I do like a lot of their base products, but I have never, I had never tried this before. So this does have dimethicone in it. It's like the fifth ingredient. So it is one of those dimethic dimethicone silicone primers. Um, it also has talc in it, which does make sense because talc could be that oil absorbing kind of factor. Um, so like I said, I'm going to do primer on half my face. I am going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. This is the old packaging. Um, it's now like purpley blue, but this, it's a great foundation. This is just the old packaging, but yeah, I'm excited to give this a go. So it's, yeah, I'm excited. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and, so it's just looks like a white lotion almost. No scent. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on my left side. Okay. So when it's first going on the skin, it doesn't feel like, like the Maybelline baby skin primer. I hate that stuff. It feels, that stuff feels very like slick. This just feels more like a moisturizer. So, yeah, first off, first thing off the bat, it doesn't feel like a dimethicone silicone primer. It just feels kind of like just like a sunscreen or a like a lotion. It doesn't feel like one of those pore minimizing, super slick slidey aroundy <laughs> primers. Okay, so right off the bat, let's get close. I do see a little bit of pore minimizing on this side. I don't really see any kind of matte. I mean, it feels very soft. It feels almost like powdery. Okay, so I'm going to apply foundation to this side of my face first. That way I'm not cross-contaminating. Um, but I'm just using um, the Rimmel Stay Matte in 100 Ivory. You don't need very much of this stuff. It's a very thick, very moussey kind of foundation, but I thought it would be good to test it with this. It does have killer coverage though. I need to use this foundation more. It's just, it's amazing. It's just a great foundation. Look how that just like instantly, like just evened out my skin tone. And no, this isn't a foundation review. I just, I really do love this foundation, so.
Okay, so foundation is applied to this half. Looks nice. I mean, this foundation does look nice. I mean, I do feel like it did a little bit of blurring. Looks great. Looks nice. Okay, so this is the side without primer. Went on great. Good coverage. Looks nice. So I'm going to go ahead and put the foundation on top of the side with the primer. Definitely dry it down. Yeah, it feels very kind of powdery soft. So I'm excited to see if this ends up looking better. Okay. Seems to be going on the same. Okay. It maybe looks a little bit smoother on this side. I mean, this foundation's great by itself, but it does look like it's sitting on top of the skin a little bit nicer, maybe. Yeah, I feel like, especially in my nose, I don't know if you can see it, but I've got some pretty large pores right up here, and it seems to be sitting better on the nose with the side with the primer. This is the side with the primer. This is the side without the primer. It just looks a little bit more cakey. Okay. I think we are pretty good. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing some more makeup and everything, you know how it goes. Um, but this foundation's already kind of dried down. If you have like normal to dry skin, you wouldn't even need to powder this. Um, but it looks nice on both sides, but as of right now, I do think it looks a little bit nicer in certain areas on the side with the primer, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do some more makeup. I'll do some check-ins and we'll see how this half of the face is comparing to the non-prime side. Hello. So it's been about six and a half, seven hours, and I can definitely see a difference between the primed and not primed side. Sorry, I got little baby hairs everywhere. Okay, so this side had the primer, and this side did not. Okay, so the difference I'm seeing, is I don't know if you can see it around my nose, but it's gotten very cakey and kind of settled into my nose crease right here. It's also started to wear off on the tip. The side with the primer, a lot less cakey, hasn't settled, I still have foundation on my nose tip. Sorry, I'm going to get uncomfortably close, just FYI. Okay, so pores on this side looks really nice. Minimal creasing around my mouth. Okay. This side, my pores are a lot more exaggerated. Something else I've noticed, and I hope you'll be able to see it, my forehead. I feel like I have a lot more creasing, which I have lines on my forehead, you know, but you can see the foundation has settled into those forehead lines. Right here, a lot less settling. Okay, I mean, it looks way smoother on this side. So right off the bat, I am impressed. I do think it did help with the wear a little bit, especially in my nose area but my skin does look a lot smoother on the side that I am wearing the primer. It feels just as lightweight. I've tried some primers where it feels like you have a lot of extra stuff on your skin. This uh, Rimmel Stay Matte Primer, very, very lightweight. Even though it does have dimethicone in it, it doesn't feel like my foundation's gonna slip and slide off. My skin, yeah, I'm wearing I'm wearing blush and highlighter and bronzer, yes. But on the side that I'm wearing the primer, even though it's a matte primer, mattifying primer, my skin doesn't look dull, it doesn't look flat, it 
doesn't look cakey. I'm just amazed by the forehead. Lots of creasing. I mean, shine controlling smooth skin. Yeah, I mean, I think it looks really, really nice. I'm very, very surprised. I think both look great because it's a great foundation, but this side without the primer, definitely, it's definitely settled more. It's definitely settled into the pores, and I do feel like it's worn off a little bit more on my nose. So, you know, I'm not impressed by primers very often. There's some, like the No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. That's a great primer. Um, this is extremely affordable, and it's, it's a really nice primer. Um, I've used this once before this video, um, but I'm excited to keep on using this. Um, it's one fluid ounce, same amount as like in a standard foundation, and it really, it made the foundation wear very beautifully, very, very nicely. So I am extremely impressed. I will continue to use this. Um, you'll probably see this in an update video, um, but yeah, I think this is definitely a Monday must-have. The Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Primer. I think if you have normal to dry skin, of course, do your regular moisturizing, sunscreen, whatever you do before this. But I don't think that this is so overly mattifying that a lot of people couldn't use this. I think if you have oily skin, combination skin, normal skin, I think you'd really enjoy this. If you have dry skin, I really don't see you would need this because most foundations you're going to put on dry skin, it's going to naturally kind of mattify because your skin's going to absorb any kind of moisture that's in that foundation. But... I do think if you do have dry skin or normal to dry skin, I still think that you could definitely use this. Just make sure you're using a good moisturizer. My hair is looking a mess. There we go. But yes, I do like this stuff. Really super affordable. I'll link it down below for you. Um, but super affordable and it's a really nice primer. I'm very honestly surprised. I'm, I like it a lot. I think it looks really nice. Um, so I'm excited to continue using this and I'm so glad I busted out the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation because I do love this stuff. It's just a great foundation. So, And um, I do love the way it works together. But I'm going to continue to use this with other foundations that I do have. But I like it a lot. It's definitely a Monday must-have. But um, thank you so much for coming and watching today's video. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you did enjoy it. If you are interested in this makeup look, it's going up on Wednesday for you. Just me playing with makeup. So I know it's a little bit you know, weird and dramatic and everything, but I love it. I, I do love it. But anyway, um, let me know down below in the comments, have you tried the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Foundation Primer? I would love to know down below in the comments. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. It shows that you're enjoying my content. So yeah, I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget, you're also welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto-playing here very shortly. You can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a second.